I've known the Funhouse guys since about 2013, I'd say. I got an email from Bruce asking if I'd like to come in and shoot some videos, and I say yes to everything. So of course I was there. I've had this YouTube channel since about 2011. Funhouse started two years ago. When did you guys get the million subscriber plaque? Well, two months ago. Ah. Bit of a bummer for me. Then I remembered I shouldn't compare myself to other people, even if technically and legally they're better. I was just excited to learn that their fridge had free Gatorade. Oh, Gatorade. This man started my career. True. This was a lie. And here's another lie. I posted on Twitter, new job, new life, with a picture of the Funhouse office. I don't have a new life, and Funhouse is not my new job. But it was fun seeing all of your responses. Like, don't even joke, are you serious? And OMG, are you joking? Even my handicapped friend Tucker responded, why do people still hire you? <laughs> There's Tucker with his bad legs. It was interesting being surrounded by YouTube gaming history. These boys and girl are so strong. And I couldn't help but wonder what it would be like if this was my dad. Eh, it's just okay. Who's the first person that started this channel? It was Jesus. Jesus, actually. Jesus, Jesus started, started it, but then he had to fake his death. Okay. So he went behind that rock or whatever, mm -hmm. and then Matt Danovic took it over. Now that you know the history of Funhouse, I decided to ask the real questions. Now, which, one's, which one's Bruce? There. Once I figured out which one was Bruce, we went out to lunch so I could get to know him better. He didn't speak much. Actually, he didn't speak at all. But from what I gathered, he's physically unable to speak. He might be a mute. I'm not sure how he's a host of a channel without the ability to speak. But even I know that miracles are everywhere. Not to brag, but Rooster Teeth paid for my bean and cheese burrito. They know how to treat a soft little chicken man like me right. And just like high school, I ate lunch by myself. Dude, you really glowed up. <sighs> Adam, proud of his new workout regimen, was no stranger to showing off his body. This is a sacred place. Your body? So enjoy the show. There was one small fact about Funhouse I couldn't ignore. Joel Rubin, before he was my boss at SourceFed, he worked at Funhouse. I missed seeing all of those boys together, and I know they missed it too. You guys ever talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> Adam's like a brother to me. <laughs> Don't throw those nuts at me, Adam. Oh, but it wasn't all fun and games. They brought me to their office for a reason. It was time to shoot the podcast, or what they call Dude Soup. Lawrence showed me where they shoot. It's been, a, it's been a work in progress. But I could tell that's not really what he wanted to talk about. Well, I like your haircut a whole lot. Thank you. After giving Lawrence a false compliment, I tried my best to continue the conversation. Do you have a nickname? Uh, not really. Awesome. Kids in your vlog well, you're vlog Are you vlogging right now? I'm not trying to correct anybody, but I call it alternative lifestyle. You guys need me for another video, right? If you don't mind sticking around. Sure. James, do you have anything you'd like to plug? There's a there's an apartment that I used to live at. I soon realized the reason they brought me to Funhouse wasn't to film with them. It was actually to do a lot of tech work. A lot of their cameras weren't working and they needed somebody to repair them. And I guess, I don't know, Rooster Teeth doesn't want to spend money on a technician, so they um, figure, why not yeah, get, bring in bring in Steve, I guess. Have you played, have you played this yet, Battlegrounds? I don't know how true this was, but they mentioned that they'd never brought a guest onto their comment show before. If that's really true, <laughs> that kind of makes me feel good, dude. Tom Moffat asks, is it even possible for Lawrence to be more condescending? Lawrence, explain to me why the Dakota Pipeline should not exist. You know, I'd like to do that, but I'm not sure that you would, you know, really be in a place where you could Understand. I think he's fine! You know, Lawrence gets a lot of shit. Not just from his co-workers and people that watch the channel, but from himself. And although he might dress like an adult baby, he's a genuinely sweet man. My first day at Funhouse ended, but on the way out, I asked the guys to give me some compliments. Oh, you, Steven, you've been fantastic. Of all the guests you've had, you're by far- Fuck the off! I like that you could have picked my pocket, but you- It was one of the best days I've had in a while. The guys at Funhouse are genuinely good dudes, and I'm excited to go back on Wednesday. However, that's when the day turned sour. I remembered a promise I made to my friend. What are you doing right now? Uh, I'm hanging out with my dog. My dog's birthday's coming up. Do I come to my dog's birthday? Being the good friend that I am, of course I showed up. Thank you for inviting me to your dog's birthday party. Thanks for coming 40 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God.